Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. Before I solve this problem, I have a question for you. This is 3 to the power of 2x minus 9 equal to 0. Now, a couple of persons, in fact, almost everybody would say that this is too simple, right? But then, do you think high school students will be able to solve this problem with ease okay and if you think it's simple you can ask a couple of high school students you know or send it to them let's see how many of them can solve this but this is simple if only you make you know you take the right step the first thing is take this to the other side right so we are having 3 to the power of 2x minus 9. Since I'm taking it to the other side, I will add the additive inverse. Okay, so this will be equal to 0 plus the additive inverse, which is 9. Remember, the additive inverse of minus 9 is 9, right? So this will now take this away from here. And then 3 to the power of 2x will be equal to 0 plus 9, and it is 9. Now, what again do I do? Remember that I can still write 9 to have 3 as the base. So 3 to the power of 2x should be equal to 3 to the power of 2. And this equally means that the powers are equal because the bases are equal. So 2x is equal to 2 because this and this are equal. Then we can divide by 2 and divide this by 2 as well. And if we do that, this will go with this. And x is equal to 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1. This is the value of x that satisfies the equation. And what is the equation again? 3 to the power of 2x minus 9 equal to 0. And if we put 1 here, then we have two, um, 3 to the power of 2 times 1 minus 9. And we are saying that this should be equal to 0. Because this is the same as 3 squared minus 9. Okay. And 3 squared minus 9 is 9 minus 9. 3 squared is 9, so minus 9. And this is giving 0, which is what we had on the right hand side. Thank you for watching. And make sure that you share this to your friends or your learners in high schools. Thank you for watching.